Hello and welcome to the EEPROM 9. Today we have, well, we're not specifically focusing on this, but more the program I wrote for it. A Casio FX 730p. Ever been in that point where you've got those capacitors and they have them stupid like three digit capacitor codes and it's like, what the hell does this mean? You know, you're taking something apart and whatever and come across them. I don't actually have any circuit boards with them on around here. They're all tucked away in other places that I can't be asked to dig out. But, unless... Do does the Hanover display save this demonstration? Oh, kind of. You know, I've got these ones, for example, which are 102s. You know, what the hell's a 102, for example? Or a 103? You know, let, let's find out what their value is. So I decided to take the formulas I can't figure out in my head and um, put them into a programmable calculator. Why this one? Because uh, it's easily available, the batteries last forever, and I've also ported a version to the Casio FX7000G and GA, and it works treat. But let's, enough rambling, let's get to the point. So we'll get the uh, contrast adjusted for this. So you can see it, and then we'll go to program area. One. Cap decoder, press EXE. So we do. So what are the first digits? So in our example on our Panover controller board, it's 102s. So 10. Last digit. 2. And that turns out it's 1000 PF, 1 NF, and 0.001 UF. Now what if we've got some 103s? Let's find out what they are. Not rum. Although I do like a good bit of rum. So we got some 103s as an example. First two digits. 10 again. Oh, I fucked that up. Uh, run. Gotta love it when you fuck that up. So 10. Last digit is 3. 10,000 PF. 10 NF. And 0.01 UF. I have not done a version of this that has the... Um, that does it the UF values to the capacitor codes that actually turns out I haven't figured out how to do formulas for that yet. But if we do a quick list, this is the beauty of this thing. First two digits, 30. There's the formulas. And I will post the um, code in the uh, description down below because this will actually probably be useful for quite a few of you out there that can put it into a basic calculator of some description. But yeah, that's all I have today. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I hope this is useful to other people out there because this has already proved useful to me. Sometimes the solution is just when there isn't a solution out there, code it yourself.